Hey, so uh, I'm Igor Suarez, and uh, I'm a Portuguese web developer. And I was yesterday I was in uh, Florida after seven, and two funny things happened. One was that uh, I found out that today I was going to give this talk. <laughs> um, the other one was I was talking to this guy named um, Pedro, uh, Pedro something from um, Crowd Process, and he was talking to me about some cool stuff they were doing there. Um, and in that in that uh, talk with him, uh, we end up talking about um, web workers, and I was like, oh yeah, web workers, but. I didn't really know that much about them, so um, I decided to talk about web workers today. Uh, I know you guys are probably hungry, so this won't take long. <laughs> um, it's just a guided tour on, on web, web workers. So, so what are web workers? Uh, obviously from the name. I mean, seriously. They're, web workers are these blue collar workers that clean up Spider-Man's webs from the buildings, right? Sorry, I made back jokes. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's web workers API defined by W3C and um, this really no long name. <laughs> I don't really want to spell it. So, and they're used to um, perform computationally expensive tasks without uh, interrupting user interface. And they're supported by uh, all browsers, well, I mean, this is how you use them. You just create a worker and pass them the, um, the path to your script file. And the browser just ignores the MIME type. It always treats the, the, the path as, as a JavaScript. And workers are subject to some special rules. They, first off, they run in a separate parallel execution environment, which in a browser just means a separate thread, uh, they have their own event loop, and they can't do uh, things like access a DOM or um, uh, re re register callbacks on UI events. They can access window, document, parent, console, and alert, so this makes it a little bit uh, hard to debug, and they don't share state with the, your the, the script from the, the, the origin that created the, the web worker. So this is how you'd use them. You create a web worker and uh, you register uh, on the on message on either side um, and you switch message, you use post message. And this may look like it's uh, sharing um, an object from the one side to the other, but actually, uh, the objects serialized and copied, so you really can't share any data. Um, okay. So what can they do? Uh, they can read properties from the browser using the navigator object. They can uh, use the location, but obviously in a read-only way. They cannot change the the address. Uh, they can make AJAX requests. Uh, use timeouts, uh, timeouts, set intervals, the usual stuff. They can use the application cache, then this might be useful. Uh, and they can load other scripts, and this is the, um, the funny thing. They, um, you have to use this global uh, function called import scripts, and you pass it the path to the scripts you want to use on your workers. And they can also create subworkers, so uh, you just can just spawn subworkers from your. I think there are some restrictions here. You cannot pass them uh, a full path to um, to a new worker in, from inside another worker. And this is how you'd handle errors after you're creating a worker. Just register a um, a callback on error. Of course, the this is like just everything else in. JavaScript, you could also do uh, add listener and uh, say error and pass it a function. You know, the usual stuff. So, um, and this is how you can stop a worker, either from the origin or from inside the worker, calling close. 
And why would you use a web worker? I mean, seriously. Um, to do some computationally expensive tasks like uh, text processing, maybe you want to spell check the user input, and um, I don't know. Um, basically, you don't want to to um, burden the the main uh, thread, uh, the UI thread, with heavy processing, or else the the, the UI is going to stop responding. Uh, I have a, a demo here I hacked earlier. Let me see if I can get it to work. I think it's already online. Okay, so this is actually Seb's example from earlier. I wasn't able to do the exactly same exactly the same thing, but when I press here on calculate, it's going to do some expensive calculations and watch what happens. Uh, Actually, I should give you the other example first. No web worker. Cool. So, when it's calculating, uh, the whole uh, user interface stops, which is not cool. But with a web worker, it's okay. Um, Yay! <laughs> Using a web worker. <laughs> um, you could also want to use it to make some heavy I.O., uh, maybe pull web services. Uh, and this is actually a little bit crazier. You could use web workers to share some state between tabs. And I think here the, the support is not 100%. I think not even Chrome is fully uh, in with this. But here you'd have to use a speci special kind of workers. Uh, what I showed you was um, dedicated workers that are bound to the, um, the origin script. So uh, with shared workers, uh, it's a little bit different. They, they have a name. And any script with the, within the same origin can communicate with, with that worker by the URL or even by a name. Um, and they use these uh, message port objects to, to communicate, like the, um, uh, well, dedicated web workers also use them, but they're implicit. And with shared workers, you have to be explicit. And they require, they require um, um, a call to port.start, and you need to register on connect. Let's see an example. Well, uh, you create a shared web worker, and you give it a name. And on the shared web worker, you do everything on the callback from connect. You get on the uh, event object um, always a read-only array with only one position. I don't know what is this yes, uh, um, yet. But um, you get that port represents the communication channel to, to the, the origin. So web, web workers are uh, heavyweights, they, they, you're supposed to create web workers and then use it through, through, uh, throughout um, your application um, lifecycle and not just create one every time you need one. They, they require um, startup, they have a big startup performance cost. So you maybe use one or two, but never too many. And this is it. Thank you.